Hi, Harrison. This time we're going to read a book called The Mitten. I wonder what happens. Oops, before we read, I better get my reading glasses. Do you ever wear glasses when you read? I think you do sometimes because I have them right here. All right. Inside the first page, it tells us it was written by Jan Brett. Then it tells us on the next page that it was written for Sylvia Kyle, Ruth Ann Johnson, Rebecca Lim, and Tad Beagley. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but on each side of the page, there's a little outline that looks just like a mitten, and that's on every page. Okay, the first page of the story. Once there was a boy named Nicky, and he wanted mittens white as snow. See Nicky jumping in his red cap? Let's turn the page. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens so much that Baba made them for him. When she finished knitting, Nicky put on the mittens and went out to play. And it wasn't long before one mitten fell off. See right down here? Nikki is has already lost one of his mittens. A little mole found it and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. Did you know that there's hints on each page for what happens next? So you can see the mole crawling inside, but if you look over here, there's a little rabbit. The next page tells us a rabbit came hopping by. He wiggled in next to the mole. See him there sitting, getting in next to the mole? I wonder what's gonna come next. A hedgehog wanted to get warm. The mole and the rabbit made room for him. So there's the mole and the rabbit making room for the hedgehog. And look who's on his way now. The owl didn't want to be left out, so the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. Look at that crowded mitten. You can even see the hedgehog spines sticking through the mitten, but the owl's not afraid. He's going to get in, but what in the world is coming next? A badger looked out of his house and saw the mitten, and he climbed right in. Look at all those animals getting in that mitten. It started to snow, so a fox pushed his way in and made himself right at home. What in the world is coming next? Then a big bear sniffed at the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. He crawled in anyway and the mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in and perched on the bear's big nose. See that mouse right there on the bear's big nose? That doesn't seem like it's gonna stretch the mitten, does it? The mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. Ah, ah, ah. Choo! The bear sneezed, and all the animals flew out of the mitten. Nikki saw his mitten fly up into the air. See it right there? From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he called. I have both my mittens. And Baba smiled. There's Nikki catching his mitten. And the very last page has no words, but look at Baba checking out those mittens and looking at why one is so much bigger than the other. Well, thanks for listening, Harrison. I hope you enjoyed it. We will do this again soon, and I love you very much.